Welcome to Truth and Company Boxing Podcast for another segment of 20 Random Questions. I'm your host, John the Truth Theoria, and tonight's guest is IBF Intercontinental Bantamweight Champion Shredda Metcalf. What's going on? I know you just had a fight uh, not too long ago, and uh, we were just talking off air, so you've been training, so what's going on? Oh, right now I'm just staying ready. So when the, when the opportunity comes, and I know it's coming very soon, that's what I do know. So I'm just staying, staying shape, stay, uh, staying, staying sharp, making sure like you know, my, I'm maintaining weight and everything. So now you were just talking off here. You're ranked number one. Is that what you said for the IBF? Yes, I'm ranked number one. I'm the mandatory for the IBF. So you could get a call any minute. Clearly, yes, I can. <laughs> <laughs> so how's training going uh, it's great well it was great it just snow where i'm at. I'm in little rock it just snow here so i'm still going to the gym tomorrow okay I didn't, yeah i didn't get to make it in today so i'm making it in tomorrow all it, right it, it's it's snow pretty bad here <laughs> yeah it seems to be snowing everywhere is <laughs> All right, so you ready for these random 20 questions? I'm ready. All right, wait a minute. One, one more question, just in case the fans don't know, because I didn't know. Your nickname on the screen right there is actually pronounced chicken. Yep, chicken. Everybody calls me chicken. <laughs> okay, is there a story behind that? Yeah, I used to be called chicken sticks when I ran track. I don't know if I just have like some stick legs just fast and running and stuff. I run I ran cross country and I ran like long distance. Okay. It's off since I got I'm just chicken. All right, let's get to these random 20 questions. Question one How did you get involved in the sport of boxing? I started in underground boxing when I uh started in like 2012. Okay, explain to me what that is exactly. They were fighting in the clubs. So it was just pretty much um, a fun way to make some money for the kids. Okay. So that means you're not technically licensed or anything like that. You're just doing like fighting in the ring, though, still like a boxing fight yeah. still, but it's underground and it's unsanctioned. Yes. Okay. And then, so what made you turn pro, though? Uh, well, at first they told me that I was really pretty good. I was beating a lot of people in the in the underground fighting. So I turned amateur and I went to the nationals. I got ranked number five in the country. And so they just ended up calling me one day and it was like, uh, we'll pay you this amount of money. You want to go pro? And I'm like, shoot, yeah, for some money, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So that's that that's an interesting story. So you weren't ever really planning on being a professional boxer, it just kind of worked out that way. Yeah, I just fell in love with the sport. I just look I just love everything about it. Okay. Question two What boxers have inspired you in your career? Uh boxers like Floyd Mayweather, Muhammad Ali. Uh, Christy Martin, I like her. Like ladies like that, I love what Amanda Serrano is doing. I always used to watch her because she went pro before I did. So people like that. Okay. Question three: Do you have any hobbies outside the sport of boxing? Yes, I used to play basketball. Like pro? No, not pro basketball. But in high school and everything, like in middle school, elementary, I always used to play basketball. Okay, and you still do that now? Mm, every now and then, because my kids play basketball. My son, he um he in college now, but last year they won state championship in basketball, so I'll play against him sometime. Okay. Question four, what's something that your boxing fans don't know about you? I love to twerk. <laughs> Yeah, I love to work. <laughs> okay. Question five. Do you have any phobias? Mm, 
like super crazy heights. Like super crazy. Like I, I was, I thought I was gonna have a panic attack when I drove across the Golden uh, Gate Bridge for the first time. Like it was a lot. <laughs> okay. All right, question six. Do you like clowns or do they freak you out? They cool. As long as it's not it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question seven. If you could box in a celebrity boxing match against any female celebrity or other female athlete, who would you want as your opponent? Mm. Well, it's just it's a business move. I go for Nicki Minaj because she got a big uh, fan base. <laughs> so we fight. It'll be good. Okay. We gonna get paid. Question. Huh? I said we gonna get paid. <laughs> All right. Question eight. Who was the hardest puncher you've ever faced in the ring in a fight or sparring? Hardest. I've only really felt a punch in the fight. And she, uh, I can't even remember her name. I, can, uh, I can't even remember her name. I can just remember her, one of her punches. It's a fight, and I can't even think of her name. It's so crazy. But it wasn't that, it, it wasn't Daniel Bennett, was it? No. She didn't, she, she didn't hit hard. She didn't really hit hard. She, to me, she didn't really want to engage in a fight. Okay. So you yeah, can't, so she, you can't, you can't think of anybody though? Yeah, I'm trying to think of the girl name. Jamie Mitchell was strong. I remember she was. I give her props. Melissa Odessa was pretty strong too. Like, but her punches didn't daze me. One, only one person. Was able to do it. I won that fight, but the, those those other ladies they they're pretty strong. Okay. For their way. Question nine: Can you tell me an interesting story out of your boxing career? As far as like what? Just just anything. Just just off the top of your head, a story that's happened in your boxing career. Well, it was definitely exciting knowing that. Fighting for the IBF Intercontinental Champion belt was on the line. So that training camp was like a very tough one. And but it was also it was also rewarding. So oh, that's, like, that's the fight you just had on TV, right? Fight on November the seventh, that fought against Mio Yoshida. Yeah, I actually watched that fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did. Okay, okay. Yeah, you got a heck of a jab. <laughs> hey, I'll make sure it worked. <laughs> it was it was working that night. <laughs> All right, question 10. Why do you box? Because I love it. Uh, I love having my kids be able to look up to me, you know, and they be happy. So, this... I, this this is for that I just really love. <laughs> okay. Question 11. If you were granted three wishes, how would you use them? Well. One of them to be become a world champion. <laughs> uh, for us to be rich. And world peace for real right now. Okay. World peace. Yeah, think about that. It's a lot of wars going. On. Crazy. Question twelve: If you were on death row, what would be your last meal? Mm, chicken and dressing, candy yams, macaroni and cheese, greens with turkey legs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Put them with vanilla bean ice cream, just yeah, I have a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, Question 13. What animal best fits your personality? Mm. 
I would say a gazelle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, question 14. Who are some of the musical artists that you listen to when you train? Uh, I love Young Jeezy, Gucci Man. Um, sometimes with Travis Scott, Kanye West, uh, some rappers from Dallas, where I'm from. I listen to some of them, like Trap Boy Freddy. Oh, yeah, you like that. Okay, question 15. If you could win a trophy or an award in something other than boxing, what would you want to win it in? Another award? Yeah, if you could win an award or a trophy in something other than boxing, what would you want to win it in? Basketball. I'll be a WNBA basketball world champion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question 16. If you could only eat all your meals for 30 days from one fast food restaurant, which one would you choose? Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question 17. Are you artistic in any way with your hands outside the boxing ring as far as building things, painting, drawing, photography, mechanics, anything like that? Um... I've been decorating at the house, so I've been painting cabinets and hanging pictures. I've been really doing a lot of things. I've been doing a lot of painting. So I think I've been doing artistic things with my hands lately. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, question 18. What has been the biggest accomplishment in your life? Being a great mom. My kids tell me they love me, and I just see that the things that my kids are accomplishing because I'm doing my best to be the, the, the best mom I can be, I say, being, being a mom. Okay. Question 19. What's the craziest or the funniest story that ever happened between you and a boxing fan? Uh, after I won my, one of my fights, I won. But everybody congratulated me. We all in the crowd. I'm giving people hugs. And this guy just walked up and said, you need to let me be your trainer. I was just like, I got scared and walked away. <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm like, I don't know what's going on here. And that was all he said, and then you just walked away. That was the end of it. Like, yeah, you uh, good fight. You need to let me uh, be your trainer, though. And probably he had no, probably no training skills at all. I don't even know who he was. So he looked like he had no training skills. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question 20. Who is someone in your life that has inspired you outside the sport of boxing? My mom. My mom inspired me. I've seen my mom like work two to three jobs, just take care of us. We never went without. And she was a single mom. And she the one who just told me just always work for you have everything you need and want because we we had everything we needed. I would definitely say. All right. Well, listen, I th I want to thank you for taking time to come on here and do the random twenty questions. If there's anything, uh, any sponsors you want to give a shout out to, or the fans, or anything you want to say something to, go ahead. Oh yeah, everybody. I want to give a shout out to Maji Water, Triple D Gear, Flock Gear. D1 Sports and Performance. Also, my, my mobile bartending business, Bartender Babes, and my boutique salon. It's called the Headquarters Deluxe Studios. Both of those are located in Dallas, Texas. And y'all can follow me on Instagram at the Real Slim D and on Facebook and Twitter at Shay Metcalf. All right. And with that, the truth has spoken. Hold on.